you're new to Goal High Level or you've been using it for a little bit now and you're just struggling to get clients and you feel like nothing's working, then this video is for you. Over the past year, I've taught thousands of people how to start selling Go High Level to local business owners. So I've seen every single mistake that a beginner can make that keeps them from getting clients. That's why I decided to make this video to go over all the common mistakes that I see on a day-to-day -day basis and how to fix those mistakes so you can instantly improve your success rates and get business owners to actually want to pay you. And if you implement everything I tell you in this video, you should have your first or next client within the next seven to 10 days. So the first and probably most common mistake that I see all the time is people selling the features and not the results. Now you've probably heard this one before. It's pretty simple, but it's also extremely important. So imagine you're on the phone with a business owner and he asks you what kind of service you offer. You'd probably say, oh yeah, we have a software that can do reputation management, all in one conversation tab, done for you website builder, missed call text back, and so on. That's something called feature dumping and it's very common, but it's not what you're supposed to do. But these are all things that the Go High Level platform offers. So why is that a problem? It's a problem because if you put yourself in the business owner's shoes, 99% of the time, the only thing that business owner can cares about and wants is more customers and more money. Now these features and the Go High Level platform as a whole will help these business owners get more customers and make more money. But when you're feature dumping, they don't really understand that. They just hear you listing off a bunch of features and they don't really understand the benefit. And half the time, they probably don't even know what you're talking about. So what you want to do is explain your offer in a way that this business owner will better understand. So for example, you can say something like this. Yeah, so we're just working with a few other businesses in the area to help them generate more customers and sales using this AI powered platform that's going to capture new leads, set appointments and collect Google reviews for you automatically. So you can say something along the lines of that. And when you say it in that way, they're much more likely to respond and be interested because you're saying it in a more results oriented way and also using language that they'll better understand. They hear the words AI, capture new leads, set appointments, get Google reviews and the word automatically. All these words you're using are much more likely to resonate with that business owner rather than just listing off all the features. Sell the results, not the features. The next mistake I see all the time, and it can be a really big problem, is the amount of volume you're doing. Most people simply are just not doing enough volume. And I can't stress this enough. As a beginner, you need to be doing as much cold outreach as you possibly can. Do as much volume as you can. I know it sucks. Trust me, when I first started, I just sat in my room and I cold called all day from like 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. for literally months. But in doing that, I got so much better at cold calling. So instead of maybe getting three yeses out of every hundred calls, I got five yeses and then seven yeses and then 10 and so on. So just think about it this way. If you start a brand new video game or a sport, you're probably gonna suck at that sport when you first start. If you grind that game or sport for a few weeks or months, you're gonna start getting a lot better and eventually you're gonna get to a point where you're really good at it. The same exact thing applies here. You'll start to get better, you'll get more comfortable on the phone and things will also start to flow more naturally. And when you start to get good at something, it also becomes more enjoyable, so just keep that in mind. But I would shoot for around 100 pieces of outreach a day, so that can be cold calls, cold walk-ins, cold texts, cold DMs. Then as you start to get some clients, now you can leverage your cash flow to do things like paid advertising, or you can hire people to do the cold calling for you. And then it just becomes much easier to scale when you can now leverage your money instead of your time. So many people were asking me where to find good, high quality, reliable virtual assistants that can do cold calling for you. And it can be pretty hard to do that. So I just ended up hiring my own team of in-house virtual assistants that can set appointments for you. So for anyone that might not have the time to do the cold calling, or cold outreach themselves, or they just want someone to do it with them to double their efforts, then you can hire your own personal virtual assistant that can set appointments for you. So far, they've been absolutely killing it. So if that's something you'd be interested in, I'll leave the link down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and shoot me a message on Discord. The next mistake I see people make is not offering free trials or free value up front to get people to sign up. Now, I'm not saying you have to offer free trials, but as a beginner, it's one of the easiest ways that you can get people to convert convert into a paying customer. In general, when you're selling someone a product or a service, you need to get them to a pretty high level of confidence and trust 
that this thing you're selling them is actually real and will actually work. And if you're a beginner, it's a little bit harder to get them to that level of confidence or trust that they need to actually pay you. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just a little harder when you don't have the experience. That's why offering them a free trial is a risk-free way to get them to try your service. And then from there, half the battle is already over. You already got them to sign up. Now, if you just provide them really good customer service during that free trial, they will convert into a paying customer. Another option that's also really effective would be providing them a free website up front instead of a free trial. Because as you know, Go High Level has tons of done for you templates that all you have to do is make some small edits and throw their logo on it and then it's good to go. You can leverage this really effectively because it's automatically gonna make you stand out from everybody else doing cold outreach because now you're providing this business owner something really valuable up front, which you can then use to upsell them into your other packages. You can call local business owners and tell them you made a completely free website, no strings attached, and just ask them if they have 20 minutes in the next day or two to jump on a call so you can go over the website and make any changes. Then once you get them on that call and you're going over the website, you can easily upsell them into literally any other packages you want. The basic idea here is you're building a level of trust with the business owner by first giving instead of asking. They get cold calls all day and everyone's always trying to pitch them their service. So now they're gonna get a call from you and it's some guy trying to give them a free website. So obviously they're gonna be really interested and intrigued by this offer that they've never heard before and who doesn't want a free website. And then from there, if you can just get them on a Zoom call, it's literally a layup to get them into any of your other packages. You can offer them the web chat, the AI chat bot, or literally any other services like the missed call text back anything like that, even just website management for like 97 a month, that's the bare minimum you can get them on, but you can easily get them on a three, four, or even $500 package by showing them all the other features inside high level. The free website method has been going crazy recently. Definitely give that one a shot. Now, the last thing I see people do wrong and possibly one of the worst things you can possibly do is not following up with your leads. People will send one message or one phone call and if they don't get a response, they'll just never follow up with that person. And if you do that, you're just leaving money on the table. Listen to these statistics and you'll realize how effective following up is. Number one, we have 80% of sales require an average of five follow-ups to close the deal. So that means if you don't follow up at least five times, your chance of closing the deal is literally 20% or less. Number two, 44% of salespeople give up after one follow-up. It's probably a lot higher than that, but if you follow up just twice, you already have a better chance at closing the deal than almost half of salespeople. This one's kind of crazy. Only 2% of sales happen during the first point of contact. So if you don't follow up past the first point of contact, you literally have a 2% chance of closing the deal. 2%. And the last one, only 8% of salespeople follow up six or more times. That means if you follow up with your leads just six times, you're already putting yourself in the top 8% of salespeople. So after hearing those statistics, you can see how effective and important it is to be following up with your prospects at least around seven to 12 times to really be effective. And it's really not even that hard. You can set up an automation if you want to inside high level that will automatically follow up with these leads seven to 12 times for you. So you don't even need to worry about it. That's pretty much it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or join the discord. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.